Hello everybody and welcome to the 11th episode of the Engine Game Development Log video. In this one I'll be showing you the script system I've been working on for the past few weeks. To demonstrate this I'll be using these buttons to trigger the events specified in the script files. So let's just get right into it. So firstly I will pick this button that will spawn a banana and I will add a script component to it. I'm just gonna call it, let's say, spawn banana. So now that I've named my script file, now let's actually create the file. So now I'm gonna save this file as spawn banana dot script. Now before I continue, I will also change the um, file uh, coloring to C++ because I should also mention that I'm using angel script for my scripting language and this language is very similar to C++. So let's just create a simple entity from a mesh file, in this case banana obj, and I'm just gonna put it at height 10 at the starting location. And I can also name the entity if I want. Um, I, I can actually pick a custom name, otherwise the name will be generated from the file name. So in this example, ban banana obj will be automatically named to banana. So I can just skip that process. So the next thing I also want to do is to make the entity dynamic. For this, I can set the mass to uh, something that's not zero and I also disable the kinematic object. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is create a bounce all object script. Uh, don't mind this window, this is an old bug in the GUI. So let's just name it bounce and we're just gonna also name the other two buttons so let's just name the toggle gravity toggle gravity and the toggle super speed also toggle super speed uh, the super speed will be the actual moving speed of the player so let's now create um, the bounce script so I'm just gonna save it as bounce.script and also gonna change the coloring to C++ so uh, for this script I can just uh, set I can just add forces to the all, all of the uh, entities named banana um, so all of the bananas in the scene will bounce so I'm just gonna put the force of 1000 upwards and for the two remaining scripts I'm just gonna copy the content from my bounce script so for the toggle gravity I will first check if the, there is no gravity and in this case I will just enable the gravity Otherwise, I will disable it. Okay, so with that done, let's just create the final script. And this one will be the toggle super speed script. And I've already created a function for this. So I'm just gonna call it. And let's just test out the buttons. Okay, so as you can see the bounce all object works with the applied force. Next thing I'm just gonna toggle gravity and try the bounce all objects again. And as you can see now the force will continually move up the objects upwards until I re-enable the gravity. Okay, so let's just taste the toggle super speed now. And as you can see the player will move much faster than before. Alright, so this is gonna be pretty much it for the presentation <laughs> of the buttons and the next thing I also worked on was some scripting of text and also transition, smooth transition between different uh, texts. So I've created a little song for you. And yeah, this is gonna be pretty much it for this video. 
If you like the video, like it. And if you'd like to see more videos in this series or my indie game development series, you can subscribe to my channel. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!